Hello, this is Basil with another Scratch programming tutorial. Um, today we will be making an interactive story. Um, this tutorial will be in two parts because it's a bit longer than the other ones we've made. Um, so yeah, this is going to be part one. Um, yeah, let's get into it. This is what we're going to be making today. Let's just quickly run. So the Scratch Cat walks in, Gober says, hey Scratch Cat, then he asks him, what do you want to do today? We can see we've got three options. We can do nothing, we can chat, we can walk away. So these are the three things that Scratch Cat can choose to want to do today. So you can say, let's just type in one. You have to type in the corresponding one to the one that you want to um, that you want him to do. So if we type in one and press enter, he says, I'm going to do nothing. Okay. So that's the first response that you can have. So same intro if we press the green play again. See? And we can press two and have a chat. I'd like to chat. And then talk about cake. So that's the second thing that the user can do with this program. Yeah. Um so that's the second option. Okay, and here's the third option. Same intro as always. And free. If you type in free he walks away which is probably the best option. Okay, okay, let's just um, make this now. Like I said, this will only be the first half, so um, yeah, you're gonna have to see the second half to finish this video off, as you can probably see from the title, it's part one. Okay, um, let's just get straight into it. Um, so he needs a script, starting with when green flag clicked. Um, and then we're going to motion and we're going to make him go to minus 250. And he's also going to be hidden. Um, and we are then going to make him glide in. So he's going to take two seconds. We're going to click here and make it two seconds to get to X. And he's going to be going to minus 75. So if we run it, this is what happens. Oh, okay. Um, also, he needs to show. So he needs to hide when he goes there and show. So yeah, there's what's supposed to happen. And okay, so that's the first bit. This is him walking in. Um, okay, so now we're going to find Gobo like we have before. He's in fantasy section. So we can click on fantasy and we want Gobo 2 this time. And we're going to make him a script. So again, when you click clicks, and he's going to go to x zero, um, actually x minus fifty and y zero. And also, we need to rotate him like I think we've done that before. So we press the only face left right button, um, which we've used before, the middle one out of these three buttons here, and then we go to the pointing direction and go minus 90 and we can just click that and it happens so um, oh okay so this X is supposed to be 50 my mistake um, so that's the intro that's what happens in the intro um, okay so the next bit we are going to make the background so we're going to do something we haven't done before um, this is the stage you can see it. this is the background basically this can also be programmed, but today we're not going to be programming anything in, we're just going to be changing it. So we're going to click on the stage, um, go into backgrounds, and as you can see, here's the white um, screen that is behind them, and we can just click on edit. Then we're going to, we've now, this is the paint editor, you can edit sprites, you can make sprites, it's a very useful tool. We're going to be using it a bit more, I think, but not too much more, because we don't want to limit these tutorials to only people that can do art. Fortunately, this is quite easy to do. Just click on the rectangle tool, um, yep, and then you click on any green colour that you like, really. I like this shade for the background. And we're just going to go to the edge so that the, um, the mouse becomes like a cross. And um, around here, um, on, this, on the paint editor, we're just going to drag it all the way across to the other side and then down. And as you can see, we've created like a green grass field type thing. 
And now if we click on the paint, the fill tool, the paint fill tool, um, and then we click on blue, and then we click on the white, um, we also create a sky. And when we click OK, that looks much nicer. OK, so now we've created our sky. Let's just run the program again, see what happens. So, nothing's changed here, but it looks nicer. OK, so now we're going to make Gobo respond to after he's walked in. So he needs to obviously wait until um, he's finished walking in, but then he's going to say these opening lines that um, you might have remembered from last time. He's going to say, hey, Scratch Cat. So type in, hey, Scratch Cat, here. So he's going to, you need to wait two seconds, obviously, um, for the glide on this script. So it has to wait until he's finished gliding in. And then, when he's finished saying that, we're going to go back into sensing, and we're going to take the ask thing again. Remember from um, the previous tutorial, we've been using this. And he's going to say, what do you want to do today? Um, okay, so um, this is the question that is going to be asked. And at the same time, we need to um, have the text appearing. As you can remember from the other, um, the other example um, program. So we're going to click on not the file, um, choose new sprite from file button. We're going to choose the paint new sprite button. And now we're back into the paint editor, as you can see, um, the same one that we used to make the background. And we're just going to click on text tool. Um, and we can, oh yeah, the if you click on the zoom in, it makes it closer up. It's going to make it, um, yeah. And if you zoom out, then you'll be able to see the whole um, the whole stage. So um, we are going to type into here one close bracket do nothing two chat three walk away. Okay, so this is a brand new sprite, it's text, and we're going to program this as well. So when green flag clicked, hide, and also go to um, it needs to go to um, minus 120, um, actually minus 130, 110. Let's see if we just um, take away the hide and just quickly. So that's where it's going to go. On, it's going to go there on the screen. And then he is going to wait four seconds um, because the intro takes four seconds because first he glides in, then he speaks, then he asks. So then we need um, the text to appear. And then it's going to show. So if we look at this now, this is what it looks like. So it looks a lot like the intro that I showed you. So it's really shaping up now. Um, but obviously now we need to make it so when you type something in um, to this box, um, it does something. Because um, at the moment, if we just type in 1, nothing happens. This is where it gets a bit more complicated, and this is what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. Um, so this tutorial is done for now, but in the next one we will be looking at how to make the multiple choice and we're going to be introduced to a new concept, which is broadcasting. I hope you've enjoyed the first part of this tutorial, and please tune in for the next half.